Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maya, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And here we talk about everything from lifestyle and beauty starting from the inside out. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. It's my first one, y'all. Um, but I definitely want to incorporate more style, more fashion. So today's going to be an unboxing of a black-owned luxury handbag company. And this brand is actually based in Bushwick, Brooklyn. So you definitely know I had to get the bag because first off, the designer is from Brooklyn. And I'm from Brooklyn too. So had to represent but then number two I told you guys that this year I definitely want to spend more coins on black owned businesses Gucci has a lot of money Givenchy has a lot of money let's spend it within the community so I'm really trying to be more intentional about my purchases so today I am going to be unboxing a Telfar bag all right y'all so this is the box that it came in I did not open the only thing I opened was like the seal that's it but I did not open anything else so this is honestly like my true reactions first impressions of this handbag so we're gonna open it up together a lot of celebs have worn this bag Solange Oprah recently talked about it it's like literally everywhere this bag comes in a ton of different colors but I specifically just wanted black for now and I'm considering um, the oxblood red and also dark olive but we're gonna see how this one is first um, so I got black just because you know black is just a staple color you know you don't have to do too much and black goes with everything so let's open it up all right so it has a little zip lock bag definitely came protected and then here's the dust bag so it has the logo on the front and yeah let's open it up I actually got this black Telfar bag in the size medium. I just thought like the small was gonna be too small, like it can't fit that much. And I know, like sometimes if I'm editing, like at a cafe or if I'm going out, like I need the space in my bag to put some things in it. Not just my cell phone and my wallet, but a journal, maybe a notebook, my computer, like I said. So the medium bag was perfect for my lifestyle. This bag retailed, I believe, for $202. Let me, the bag came up to $202, but with shipping, and like I said, I live in Brooklyn, it came up to $219. So the shipping price may vary depending on like where you live and everything like that. But yes, this is the bag, y'all. So I'm going to take off this sticky here so we can actually see like the strap. Okay, so one thing I really like about the bag initially is that it has two types of handles. So sometimes you can carry it like this, which is really cute, you know, or you can carry it the long way. So that's one thing that I definitely liked about it. Like it has two different types of handles and you can carry it two different ways and it gives, you know, work vibes. And then, you know, classy doing errands on the weekend vibe so as far as the closure on the bag it has like a snap closure i just wanted to mention that just in case you guys like a zipper closure but this bag does not have that it's just a snap closure i don't have a problem with that because i don't feel like anyone's digging my bag like i trust it it's fine um but just wanted to let you guys know the space in this bag so spacious it's crazy and then it also has a zipper pocket inside so you can stick like you know things that you don't want to get lost on the bottom of the bag because it's so spacious inside the zip pocket one thing I was really scared about um, when it came down to this bag because it is vegan leather it's not real leather is you know looking cheap and I don't get cheap vibes I definitely wanted to mention that because I think the way that they edit the photos online it could come off as that glossy leather where it looks so fake and just tacky so this leather is definitely not as shiny as it is online um it also doesn't have a smell to it i know i watched some people's unboxing and they said it smelled like fish and i was like oh let me smell this before anything so that's why i definitely smelled it but it doesn't have any type of weird smell or anything like that either so let's see what can fit in this bag right, y'all so i have like a journal and my macbook so let's see this is the real test because i actually need this bag to carry something so this is my macbook it's pretty old this is definitely a heavier one this is a macbook 
Pro. So I got, I had this MacBook y'all since college. I'm so glad it's not failing me, but this bag definitely fits this laptop. Let me see. Doesn't feel like it's weighing down the bag and this laptop is super duper heavy. Like I said, this is an old MacBook Pro that I have. And I was just like, maybe I should get a new one, but it, it didn't break. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. But that's besides the point. It definitely fits my MacBook, which is really, really good. Um, also, most times I carry a notebook. I'm gonna also put my notebook in here just to see you know, the weight to make sure that it's all good. And it's fine one last thing I forgot to mention is these bags are super duper hard to get so it you have to sign up for the email list so you have to check your emails to make sure the color that you want is dropping on like a specific day so tell far we send you an email saying like black handbags are being restocked tomorrow at 9 a.m. You need to make sure that you're on that computer 9 a.m. with the link open to the specific bag that you want because literally the bags sell out within like 15 to 20 minutes, if that. So it's not so easy to get and that's the annoying part about, about it, but I do think that it's totally, totally worth it. From first impressions, I definitely think that this is a really cute, classy handbag. And like I said, it's black owned, black owned luxury brand. Definitely wanted to support Telfar Clemens, and yeah, y'all, this bag is bomb. I recommend it. It's super cute.